You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. A reading from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 3, verses 1 to 8. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man, once grown old, be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, amen, I say to you, Unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of flesh is flesh, and what is born of spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from, or where it goes, so it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Welcome back and a very pleasant Monday. Listening to the reading, I am inclined to believe that Nicodemus was a good man. Some biblical traditions identify him as a teacher of Israel, a member of the Sanhedrin, and Whether true or not, it is said that he appeared as a protagonist and was one of several Jews who testified in favor of Jesus before Pilate. We also learned that Nicodemus brought a mere aloes mixture of about 75 pounds to provide the customary embalming. That he assisted Joseph of Arimathea in preparing the body of Jesus for burial. He must have been a wealthy man. Some traditions relate that Nicodemus lived the rest of his life in the home of Gamaliel, another member of the Sanhedrin who remained in good standing among the Pharisees. So this is a picture of someone who has the desire somehow to live according to the Spirit. In today's Gospel, however, we are given a hazy picture of Nicodemus. He seems to have a very ambivalent attitude toward Christianity. He demonstrates his belief in Jesus, but he is afraid to give up or surrender the security of his status quo as a high-class Pharisee. In fact, the Gospel says he came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you are doing apart from the presence of God. Was he afraid to meet with Jesus in broad daylight for fear of being ostracized? Lord, deliver us from hanging back when called to do good works for Christ because of human respect or loss of prestige. You have freed us from darkness by your death and resurrection. Help us to live as children of light and of day. Amen. Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify. Produced by Pauline's Multimedia. 
Have a good day.